Hello everyone and welcome to another track guide video plus a setup. So this time I'm going to do a setup at Suzuka and for this one we are going to be using the Sylvia Spec R Aero from 2002. As you can see on the leaderboards I managed to get up the 35th place in the world with the setup. The car isn't the best so if you got the cars that are running in the top 10 use that but I just didn't have that car. So. I'm just going to go quickly through the setup and what you need to get. So first of all, you need to install the white body kit. I already have it installed, so that's why it's not showing up there. And yeah, that's the first step of getting this car done. And the next part is getting all of the other parts installed to get the aerodynamic parts kind of configured. So you will only unlock the aero part in the setup when you put some kind of uh, modifications on the car like that. So just make sure that you have all of the same parts that I have in this one and you can kind of modify them but you will see that the power points are just going to be slightly different if you decide to put let's say a different wing or a different front splitter or something. So just make sure that you have everything that I do have and then you can just change your setup accordingly. You can maybe lose a couple of power points here and there it's not going to matter so much but it the most important part of all of this is just to kind of unlock the aerodynamic parts in the setup and i'm just going to post all of this in my discord server so if you're just trying to pause this video and you're trying to find a different part of the setup you can jump into the discord the link is down in the description or you can just pause this youtube video and just copy all of the things i didn't really change the transmission so it's fully customizable racing 260 kilometers per hour that's the only modification that i've done so the gear changes or the gear ratios should be slightly different than this so if you can somehow manage to get a little bit more speed and a little bit more acceleration out of that transmission even better but this is what i used and just make sure that you have all of the parts that i have so everything is listed on the right side of this screen and yeah if you just try to change something here, you will have to adjust the power points and have to adjust the setup. But let's quickly jump into the track guide video itself. So with the setup, I have managed to do like a 2.11.7, which I think it's fairly decent. And as I said, 35th place in the world is something that is kind of okay. And I think it's replicable with this setup. So 100 meter sign is the first reference point, And you can see that I'm not fully turning and fully braking in this thing because you will get too much rotation and this thing is just not going to be able to stop so i like to get about 50 percent of the brakes and as i enter the turn i will always want to be kind of straightened up with this car and when i exit the curb or the turn whenever you run the curbs you're actually using a lot of curbs on this one i always try to straighten up the car as much as i can so a little bit of downshifting will kind of will help to rotate the car a little bit better but whenever you put the power down you just have to make sure that the car is stable so if the back end is kind of loose you will get too much oversteer and the car will slide so if you can change something at a setup to make it more stable that's fine but just make sure that you will not lose that much performance so Climbing onto the curbs, that's fine, but just make sure that the car on the exit is stable. So you can see always the dot is going towards the middle as much as I can. Sometimes I'm finding the car, sometimes I'm kind of trying to figure out what is the best line, but it's always about straightening up the car as much as you possibly can and then putting the power down. So here I'm looking at the right, which is usually a good indicator. I mean, with this car, it is, if you're using a different car, it might be something else. But with this car and with this setup, this is the way to go. And with these brakes, just make sure that your brakes are okay. So on the left is another mark, breaking the straight line, a little bit of trail braking, otherwise the car will get sideways. And you don't really want it to get sideways that much. So a little bit of rotation is nice, but it's, if it's rotating too much, the exit is gonna be a problem. So here, something like that. Just make sure that you brake a little bit before the end of the curb, and then when the car straightens up, then you brake in the straight line. If you put the brakes down on the curb while the car is still rotating, you will get so much, yeah, so much sliding that it's gonna be impossible to stop. So that's one point that I would really take away from this and even with this car and even with this class and this whole daily race seat just make sure that the car is stable otherwise it's just going to be a mess in the race but here 100 meter sign once again breaking the straight line and only at about 50 I would say at about 50 meter mark you start turning in and braking and sometimes I like downshift a little bit earlier to get more rotation but this time I've managed to get 
here in fourth gear, which was a good idea, kind of stabilized the back end. And here, third gear, just rotation, and then once again, as much as I can, straighten up the car and then starting to accelerate. You can see that I'm not fully going to about, I would say, I'm not going to about 100% almost immediately i'm leaving it about 80 90 percent and then putting the power down when actually when the wheel is kind of in the middle so here you can see a bit of braking going in and i like to climb onto the curb get to the inside of the curb and put the power down as soon as possible and sometimes it's going to be sketchy but i think the inside of the curb is the most important part but here 150 meters on you can probably break a little bit later if the entry speed isn't the best but here it was kind of okay so i've got on the brakes fairly early second gear just getting the full rotation and third gear on the way out otherwise if you stay in second for example the car will slide a lot you can even see that i short shifted into fourth gear to avoid that wheel spin but it really depends on the angle, it really depends 7. on the speed you're taking out, but I think third I think is okay. kind of okay for this car. And yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed in this video, and if you got any questions, you can go into the Discord, you can ask a question there, I'm gonna leave the setup and everything right there, it, there is a tab for just, just setups on GT7 alone. So guys, once again, I really hope you enjoyed this one, and yeah, see you next time. Got it. Eleven point seven. I think that's okay. <laughs> <laughs>